Earn.gg is a website where you can earn free money. If you go to the Earn tab, you will see different providers offering video advertisements, and you can pretty much leave this running all day while you're gaming, and you will receive points. These points can be redeemed for real money, including Bitcoins and PayPal, as well as CSGO gambling websites and even gift cards. Make sure you check out the site down below in the description and use my referral link. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I just want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support everyone's been showing this series. In the last episode, we got to work on our campsite and we're still going to work on it, but we're actually going to go and develop further out into the mountains. I have a really cool pathway I made, so I'm going to show you all that. I just want to say again, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys continue to support this series by hitting that like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 200 likes for today's episode. It is a stretch, but I know you guys can do it. You guys have been showing tremendous support. And other than that, guys, thanks again for the positive feedback and all the great, unique ideas everyone's been saying in the comment sections. So if you want to continue to leave me any feedback, don't be afraid. Let me know in the comment sections. And make sure you guys subscribe and hit that little notification bell for notifications whenever I stream and record. It looks like those are working again on YouTube, so don't forget to be part of Notification Squad. And let's get started. So I've actually added a few more details around the campsite. As you can see, we are finally at 1.12 since the last episode, so we have different different color beds now and I've added a little bit of decor around here for the campsite we have some horses roaming around there's chilling I also use some carpet to make them look like sleeping bags as you guys can tell and I've added some cool design here now I use basic string um, a fence and some carpet right above it I really recommend you guys trying these designs whenever you do campsites because they're just a bit more unique and they add a little bit more detail now this is a bigger tent as you can see and it's gonna have two beds but we're gonna take one of the beds because uh, when we're gonna go in the mountains I want to have it be able to have my sleeping bag with me so with that being said we're gonna take that with us but these are some more details as you can see we have our campsite right here little fire pit that everyone can go around and enjoy um, and over here we have just two more simple tents ones for like a little bit smaller we have a chest in there and this one's a little bit bigger has two sleeping bags and a bigger chest um, and same with this one this one is actually a smaller one and I forgot I actually have my bed with me right there so you know what? we're gonna put this yellow one back right about here there we go We'll put that one back over there and we're gonna go ahead and grab the red one because that's the one we've been taking around for quite a while now and I'm actually gonna take the crafting table as well because we're gonna need that so let me know what you guys think about this design so far I really like it I think it's great I think it's a little bit uh, it's compact which I wanted to go with and we might have a few more tents around here possibly um, and that'll be kind of cool so moving on I did make a bridge which looks absolutely fantastic I'm really happy with this bridge it's simple it's rustic and that's what I was going for so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments sections as well I'll show you guys from this angle as well it's very simple and I think it really brings this place together and it's really cool we have all these flower biomes on this side that we use for wool for color wool so it's really fantastic that they're all here and helpful for us uh, so now moving on to the bigger project I wanted to show you all is the fact that I have a brand new pathway that goes into the mountains and this is going to be a brand new project we're gonna be starting on because you know what I figured we've been saying in this area for quite some time and it's about time to really go and explore a little bit more people have been saying this and start expanding into this world and that's what we're doing I really love the transition from the campfire campsite area to this area so as you guys can see I built a very simple path around here yes it is quite detailed a little bit with the fences and all the little extra details that I do pay attention to and that's what I said I really want to work hard to try and improve my building and as you can see it's really cool we have a great view from here we might have to do something across there so if you guys have an idea for what I should do on that side please let me no, so far I do not know we can maybe expand for another campsite or we could do something completely different maybe a fishing area fishing market that would be kind of cool as well so as you can see you continue to explore you have the uh, snowy mountains over there um, I did add some lighting fixtures over here so that it looks cool during the night and yeah you just continue to travel up here uh, you still have a great view from up here you can see you can see the town in the distance which looks quite cool and you can continue to see the mountains and it's really cool and uh, I'm really ha happy how this turned out so far and yeah, little details do go a long way. I just want to point that out. And as we get to the top, I have worked on some structures that we are going to be working on. And as you guys can see right off the bat, it starts to flatten out over here. I took down a few trees and it's uh, going to be an area that we're going to have a few cabins around here. An area that won't be as populated. Something a little bit more in the hills that people won't really bother with too much. And uh, they can come up here. So I'm thinking this could be an area for like just 
just a rustic old abandoned not abandoned but very uh low population area that you would see people living in and i'm really happy how this turned out so far so that's what we're gonna do right now in today's episode we are gonna go ahead and start working around here i added a few basic structures around here as you can see they're not going to be fancy cat like homes or cabins they're gonna be very old beaten down a little bit um and i think it's going to be right the right way to go and work around this project so i'm gonna place my bed here and the crafting table and other than that we're gonna go ahead and start working on this project now i want to make foundation here um and i think i have some crack there we go some crack stone brick that's what i want to make this foundation we have a lot of wolves up here as well that we could possibly do something with uh we could even bring them to the dog adoption center or something like that so that's something we can go ahead and give a shot uh, i also want to get some andersite there we go i'm working with a lot of mixed stones right now that's the plan i think it will look really really cool and it'll be really nice. What the heck? Oh, this this wolf just popped in out of nowhere. So that's the goal right now. Let's go ahead and get some uh, dirt. Here we go. Now, I don't know what I want to do with these buildings. That's the... Oh, jeez! What the heck? How the heck did that happen? All right, guys. Well, that was another creeper that, no joke, I think just popped out of nowhere. That was just insane. I mean, it didn't break any of the structures. And we have plenty of dirt to fill this all in. But... What was that all about? Jeez. Oh my gosh. That literally scared the heck of me. I heard I heard the, the creeper sound and I was like, all right, well, this could be the end of this whole project. <laughs> uh, but luckily it wasn't too bad, but I swear that creeper came out of nowhere. There was no way. I didn't spot him. I didn't see him. He just apparently just popped out of nowhere. And it was kind of weird because I probably would have seen him, right? I mean, I would assume I would have seen him just popping out of nowhere as we were walking up the hill. All right, whatever. This is just a dangerous area, I guess, that we should not be uh, staying for too long. So I'm just going to clear around here the foundation um, so it's not all dirt around here so it doesn't look weird. There we go. That's a little bit better. And we should clear that up on this side just a tad bit. Perfect. All right. Much, much better. A little bit more airy, a little bit more open. And this is going to be a very, very small, uh, small, small cabin. And I don't know what we're going to do. It could just be like some person that's living in here and that's doing this thing. And there we go. I'll be it. Uh, but I really wanted to work with this area up in the hills because I haven't really done anything hilly type building around on this world yet. So this for me is a cool uh, work of progress for sure. So I'm pretty happy with this. All right, there we go. Uh, so the inside, the flooring, I am going to make it look kind of interesting. As you guys can see, I'm going to take it down. We're going to work with spruce. Why are all the wolves around here? It's insane. There's so many of them. Uh, we might have to make like a little wolf area around here. Like, I don't even know. Like the wolf whisperer is up here. Some guy, I don't even know. He's got his own area like just his own pack of wolves uh so let's go ahead and get some more of this oak i think i have yeah we have plenty i want to make the flooring and i also want to make some stairs because the inside is going to be quite like messy it, i don't even know how to explain it it's you'll see what i mean in a second i want it to be a little bit where there are stairs in between here but we can even put a downstairs that would be kind of interesting i'll show you guys what i mean but for now this is what i wanted to do kind of have a few of the stairs inside like this kind of making it like a really old cabin that's been kind of not abandoned but slightly just uh not taken care of too well but you know what i think it looks good so far i'm pretty happy with this now that's under there i don't want that block to be showing so we're going to do that and same with all the blocks that are showing we're just going to fill in with wood on the side there we go perfect so far so good and look at the view from here everyone this is absolutely beautiful you have the sun down right now and you just have a really good view of everything now that's the future home i was thinking of building but we're going to completely take it down and we're going to make it a lot better than what it is right now uh all right let's go ahead and get some rest where oh, oh okay we have the bed i thought the bed was completely broken uh, we were going to be in big trouble there because i did not have any wool on me so that would have been an issue and there we go we could just jump on the bed while we wait for it to turn night wait actually let's see how that looks yeah there we go it's a little bit of a spring to the bed which is kind of cool it's kind of interesting how the little details can be so unique in so many ways all right there we go we got some rest back to work on our project here and the inside's coming along quite well. Now, for the outside, I didn't really have a plan for it. I was thinking we could just go with some brown, like, uh, what's it called? Clay. I thought this would be kind of interesting. It's a little bit different, obviously. It's, like, maybe something you wouldn't see too often up here. But it would kind of fit the theme, I think, a little bit. So, uh, I didn't bring a lot of it. That's why I wasn't really debating. I was debating if I should go with it or not. Uh, we'll give it a quick test right now. We'll just fill in all the walls and see if it's something worth doing or something we should just scratch and move on and just use maybe like spruce siding or something like that. So, let's go ahead and see how it looks from here. I think on this side we're going to have a window. 
So let's go ahead and prepare that area. And over here, we're going to have our spruce wood. Here we go. Perfect. Wait. Oh, man, I'm messing up. There we go. Now, I'm going to have, like, random logs just sticking out like this as well. But uh, from what it looks like so far, I do like it. I think it's good. I think that's what we're going to work with. And I think it's just, it's just filling in the area because it looks really cool. I just like it. It looks kind of more rustic, having a darker color. And there we go. We'll have our doors like that. Now, I'm almost thinking, is one door plenty? Should we go with one door instead? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I think we should stay with two doors for now. Let me know what you guys have to think uh, or say about that in the comment sections. But one door, I think, is plenty for now. And what I do have in mind is I want to expand this out one more. And same with this side. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take these down. Let's go ahead and do the same thing right there. So we have our window here. And I don't think I have any glass on me at the moment. But I do want to actually try. We could do for now. We could use our old, or not our old, but our uh, our new invention of a window, which was this. This was a really cool idea for a window for now. This will be fine. I think we could just stick with that. Um, and then we'll eventually change it up. It's going to be a two-window two, two window thing for now. And I don't have any sand. I mean, do, is there any sand up here? I would be surprised if we'd find sand anywhere around up here. And I don't think I have any sand on me either. So I think for now we're just going to stick with that unless... Yeah, we're just going to stick with that for now. And eventually we'll bring in glass up here. There's no big deal. But it's, so far it's coming along. Now for the roof, I'm going to do the roof most likely off screen or on screen. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, but all right, let's continue to work on this. So what I wanted to do just now was I have some fences with me because I want to have an overhang on the house. I think an overhang would be kind of interesting. Uh, now what I was thinking was actually the overhang should probably start from the furthest block out, which is right about here. Here we go. And I think that would look kind of cool. So we'll have like a small overhang and I think that would look kind of interesting. And I think what I'm going to do for the roof for this overhang is we could do stone slabs or we could just stick with wood. Uh, but for now, I think what we could do, we'll just, we'll just stick with, uh, some wood slabs. It's probably the easiest way to go with it right now. And if we want to change it up, we can change it up. I did not know we had so many. So there we go. That was a waste. All right. So we'll do this. Just a little bit of a small design. I'll be taking down. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. That does not look quite bad. I'm actually quite happy with that. Now, I don't know if I should leave this gap. I think that's okay. I, I don't think that's too big. Look at all these wolves. They're just patrolling around here. I, I mean, I wish I could tame them, but I don't have any food on me. So I'm sorry, wolf. Um, but yeah, all right. This is great so far. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. We can give it a shot. We can give it a shot and work on the roof, possibly. Um, it would be quite a stretch. But we'll leave it like this so far for now. Um, we do need to make it, I think, one taller. No, we're going to stick with one window. We're going to stick with one window because I don't want to make this a tall tall cabin. There's no need for it. That's much better right there. And I'm thinking we could do something like that over there. We could probably take down one of these logs, leave it like this. And we could probably put something supporting it like that. That's a little bit different. See, this is a really unique type building. I want to start working more rustic themes and designs. Over here, what we could do is we could add an area that he holds. Maybe his is like, I don't know, some, some hay or some wood. So let's go ahead and work on that right now. Here we go. So I was thinking it'd probably be safe to say we should probably connect it from out here, maybe. Um, let's go ahead and try this. Let's use slabs like we were thinking of doing. Now I'm thinking, should we use different slabs or should we go with the same? And I think for now, we'll just go with the same. Here we go. Um, that's pretty simple. I think the middle portion, we will do it like how we did the front entrance. So it'd be like this. And we'll have these coming out like that. Pretty simple. And same with the top. So... That's not too bad. Uh, it's different. We'll go for it for now. And then over here, we'll just have the fences connecting to it. And it's in a little area that we could possibly have him... I don't know. We can have the person storing some hay. Now, I don't have any hay on me, but we could put a chest out here like that. And we could definitely put the ground a little bit messy. Uh, do we have any more bone meal? No, I do not. All right. So that looks good so far for me. We could add a, like a little gate right there if we really wanted to. Um, actually, I don't think we need the gate over there. We'll take that down. We could probably add a torch. Do I have a torch? I mean, do, no, I do not. Let's maybe put an armor stand. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe an armor stand over there. All right. That's quite cool. I like it. So it's like, it's like a craftsman area that someone here is in the mountains and just does a lot of crafting and, and working and, and, and just kind of like just, just on the side, you know? So I like it. I think the roof I'm going to do during a stream. That's just the type of thing I like to do. Now, this side over here, now that I think about it, 
this side here could be another area for this person's house, maybe like an area that he stores things. So that's why I built in this in-ground area that kind of goes into the mountain. I think it would be kind of cool to have it. It could be a mining area as well. This could also be like a mining town that, that's up in the mountains. Uh, that would be kind of something cool we could definitely try. So let me know what you guys think about this portion right here. Uh, should it be kind of connected with this person's theme? It definitely will because this is what the, the area up here is going to be themed. But I want to know what, what I should theme it exactly. What should this building here specifically be? Because it is quite a big space. We could always expand it. But it would be kind of cool to have it as an area that has been used for mining that's abandoned possibly. That could be something we could look forward into trying. Um, but right now what I want to do is I want to work on the outside and give it some more design. As you can see, it kind of needs a little bit of help out here. So we're going to work with some something similar that we did with the uh, pathway. We're going to use like cracked stone, uh, cobblestone, and I really do like using the andersite at the moment. Um, so we're going to work with some of that as well. So we use some cracked stone, probably put it from the inside. Uh, we'll probably even put a slab, or no, actually instead... We'll do like a stone wall right there. And then over here, we can even add the cracked stone wall. Andersite. There we go. And I'd really like to get a slab. I want to use some slabs as well. Let's go ahead and do that. I really feel like my building has gotten, like my building uh, skills have gotten better in general. I've been noticing just an improvement just from today's episode alone. I really feel I'm paying attention to more details. So I'm quite happy with this so far. But there we go. Check that out. Not too bad at all. We'll have maybe some dirt around here kind of like beat up a bit, as you guys can tell, like this. That doesn't look too bad. Um, and then over here, we could probably add something on the top like that. Maybe even like a chimney. That would be kind of cool. And we could probably add the, uh, where is it? There we go. The wooden trap door. We could add a wooden trap door on top like that. Oh, that's looking great. See, little ideas like these go a long, long way. And we'll probably close it up like that. And this block on the bottom could be some andersite. I keep saying andersite wrong. It's andesite. Why do I say andersite? It's andesite. Guys, I am so sorry. I've been saying that for such a long time. It's just one of those things that you just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just you forget. Um, okay, why did I do that? That doesn't need to be there. All right, we'll have like a little chimney up there going pretty cool. I I'm liking that. That's that For me, I think that's a cool little uh thing we just did there so i'm pretty happy with that let's see how it looks from over here i'm pretty sure you'll be able to see it yeah there we go that looks awesome i'm loving it so far um and then over here as well we could do the same thing we'll use the crack stone brick open it out a little bit there we go and then same with this side we'll do the same here and we're getting close to the end of today's episode so if you guys haven't already make sure you guys hit that like button i really appreciate if you guys go ahead and let me know any feedback you have in the comment sections i'd really really appreciate that we'll get some cobblestone real quick over there there we go let's do this anders uh, and the site i promise you guys i will fix that it won't happen again um and let's go ahead and place do I, did i run out of i did run out okay so we'll just use some stone brick for now like this here we go and then we'll probably mess around with the ground a little bit here there we go perfect like that and we'll start working with the pathway going up in here perfect all right so we'll do the flooring a little bit here make put some stairs uh i don't think i have any stairs on me anymore yeah, it looks like we ran out of that. All right, great. So, so far, I'm enjoying it. We've added a lot of detail already to this area. So, I'm really enjoying it. If you guys already haven't hit that like button, make sure you do so. It's time to end off today's episode. Like I said, guys, keep leaving me any feedback in the comment sections. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a lot more detailed, and I really do like that. That's the pathway I want to go take it. No pun intended. <laughs> We're on a pathway. But other than that, guys, peace out. Stay foxy. My name is Alex, and I'll catch you guys later with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play.